Today I am going to discuss about principle of corneal topography and I am going to cover these following topics. Principle of keratoscope or photokeratoscope. These are based on normal photography principle. In normal photography, the image plane and camera lens plane are parallel to each other. Due to which rays of Myers incident at an angle of 90 degree in the cornea and reflected back to lens plane. The reflected rays that are passing through the eyepiece of the topographer allows the observer to see the image of placido disc. The arrangement of Myers gives an interpretation of corneal state like flatter cornea, more space between the Myers, steeper cornea, less space between the Myers. Principle of Keratometer Cornea is transparent structure but still few rays get reflected from interior cornea. Due to reflection of few rays, cornea also acts as convex mirror. The image formed by the anterior cornea will decrease with the increased curvature of cornea and vice versa. From the size of the image, that is first Purkinje image, formed by anterior cornea, radius of curvature of anterior cornea can be calculated using the formula R is equal to 2i divided by O. Here R is equal to radius of curvature of anterior cornea i is equal to image size, o is equal to object size. Then dioptic power of anterior cornea is detected by using the formula d is equal to n1 minus n2 divided by r. Here d is equal to dioptic power of anterior cornea, n1 is equal to refractive index of keratometer that is 1.3375 n2 is refractive index of air that is 1. Principle of Bidu Keratoscopy The modern topographies are based on scheme plug photography with a slit illumination system. The scheme plug principle was a technique used to capture images when the image plan is not parallel to lens plan. As lens plane and image plane is not parallel, light rays reflected back from the any structures of anterior segments can be captured by camera. A thin layer within the eye is illuminated through the slit illumination and being not entirely transparent, the cells scattering the light. Due to scattering of slits, a sectional image is formed from anterior surface of cornea to anterior surface of lens and this sectional image is captured by a camera. Slit camera device move concentrically around the eye to generate a series of radially oriented sectional images of the anterior segment of eye. The sectional images are saved and corrected in relation to common reference points and then put together to create a 3D image. It takes 2 seconds to generate 50 sectional images. In the next video, I will discuss about procedure and different corneal maps. Till then, stay with us, study optometry smartly.